happy day to the enthusiastic learners. It's me, Dr. Shobha Edward, Principal, Associate Professor and Head of the Department of Corporate Secretaryship, KCS Kasi Nada College of Arts and Science, here to give you a presentation on Income Tax Law and Practice. So, you can find me at my YouTube channel, Smart Learning with Dr. Shobha Edward. Today, we would be seeing deduction under section 80G. This deduction is in relation to donations. So, when it comes to this deduction under section 80G, you have two types, the deductions without limit and the donations with limit. So, for the donations without limit, you have two types, 100% deduction and a 50% deduction. Similarly, for donations with limit, there is 100% deduction in relation to contribution towards family planning expenditure and 50% deduction of the remaining qualifying amount. So, we would be seeing that in detail now. So, now the following list of donations have no limit. So, 100% of donations towards the following can be claimed as a deduction under Section 80G. So, contribution to Prime Minister's National Relief Fund, to Africa Fund, to Armenia Earthquake Relief Fund, to a university or institution of national eminence, any donation to National Foundation for Communal Harmony, to the Chief Minister's Earthquake Relief Fund of Maharashtra, to the National Blood Transfusion Council, or any fund set up by the state government to give relief to the poor and any donation to the Army Central Welfare Fund, donation to National Illness Assistance Fund, to the Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister's Cyclone Relief Fund, to the Chief Minister's Relief Fund or Lieutenant Governor's Relief Fund, National Sports Fund, National Cultural Fund, Technology Development and Application Fund. So, for all this, your deduction is 100%. To National Defense Fund, to so for any fund set up by the state government of Gujarat for providing relief to the victims of earthquake in Gujarat and donation to National Trust for welfare of persons with autism, cerebral palsy, mental retardation and multiple disabilities. But when it comes to the National Children Fund, it is 100% deduction. Swachh Bharat set up by the central government, 100% Clean Ganga Fund, also 100%. National Fund for Control of Drug Abuse, so donation to such fund is also 100%. Now, to Prime Minister's National Draft Relief Fund, 50% can be claimed as a deduction. To Jawaharlal Nehru Memorial Fund, 50%. To Indira Gandhi Memorial Trust, 50%. To Rajiv Gandhi Foundation, 50%. And when it comes to with limit donations, there is a calculation that has to be done. So, the following are the list of donations which come under the with limit criteria. Donation to the state government, to the local authority, to educational institutions, to charitable institutions, sports institutions, to the corporation for protecting interest of minorities, to place of art, public worship or historical importance. So, any contribution towards promotion of family planning in India, all this will come under with limit donation. So, first we are supposed to find the qualifying amount. The qualifying amount is nothing but the actual of the with limit donations. So, the list that I told you just now under with limit, the total of the with limit donations. So, the actual with limit donations or 10% of the adjusted gross qualifying amount. Whichever is less is the gross qualifying amount. So, first you need the adjusted gross total income. So, gross total income would be there. It's the total of all five heads of income. So, from the gross total income, we have to make some adjustments, I'll tell you now. And 
after making the adjustments what you get is the adjusted gross total income of which 10% is taken 10% of adjusted gross total income or actual donation whichever is less is the qualifying amount and from the qualifying amount contribution towards promotion of family planning expenditure you can take it as 100% as it is and from the balance you will be taking 50% of the qualifying amount as deduction under section 80g so now going on to finding the adjusted gross total income gross total income i repeat is the total of all five heads of income and from the gross total income the following adjustments are done you subtract long term capital gain all deductions under section 80 except 80g for which you are just going to do and any rebateable income if any rebateable income is nothing but share of income from aop provided the total income of such aop exceeds the exempt limit that is 250000 and its income is not taxable at mmr only then it is treated as your rebateable income which is subtracted from your gross total income to get the adjusted gross total income and from the adjusted gross total income to go back you are going to take 10% of the adjusted gross total income and the actual donation under with limit whichever is less is your qualifying amount from that contribution towards family planning promotion 100% and the balance you are going to provide 50% so this deduction under section 80g towards donation is indeed a very big concept and i'm sure it would have been understandable for you so thank you and do donate and use it for your tax saving you may find me at my youtube channel smart learning with dr shobha edward so donate and save under section 80g thank you